Hi everyone! Welcome back to another My Little Pony custom tutorial. Today we're gonna make Discord as Captain was. This was inspired by the Archer outfit he wore in the episode Dungeons and Discords from Season 6. We're gonna use this 8 inch tall Discord figure as the base. This is no longer sold in stores but you should be able to find it online. To make room for the quiver and arrows, we're gonna trim off a bit of his mane. Now we can start attaching pieces of air dry clay to make the outfit. I normally use oven baked clay for my customs, but for this discord, about 90% will be air dry because most parts can't be taken off of the figure to bake. Water is your best friend when working with air dry clay, so use it to smooth everything out. I blended on three small triangular pieces to this part of the boot to make it look like his claw ripped through it. I also added some clay around this part of his arm to turn it into a sleeve. It looks like the width of his mane needs to be trimmed as well. I blended on this really large sheet of clay to create his long mane. Now I'm going to carve on the line textures by first using my blade to make a fine cut. Then using my carving tool, I'm gonna make the line thicker and deeper. Carving hardened clay is actually really hard work. I didn't do this when the clay was still soft because the clay was too thin. To make his braid, roll out some clay into a long snake and cut it into three equal parts. Put them together and pinch the top end so that they don't come apart while braiding. Basically, it's just the right over the middle and then the left over the middle. Repeat these two steps until you get near the end. Now let's make the end of the braid. I'm gonna glue it to his mane. And after the glue dried, I patched up the seams with some clay. Now I'm gonna use oven baked clay to make his quiver, arrows, and bow. For the quiver, I'm gonna fold this rectangle into a cylinder. Then insert a 1 8 inch oval into one end. And blend the seams together. Now I'm inserting this roll of foil into the other end. This way I can blend the seam on this curved surface without ruining the shape. 
So this quiver is just a cylinder with an open top and closed bottom. These are 2 inch metal wires that I'm going to use to make the arrows. This long piece will be used to make the arrowheads. They'll have this triangular shape and this part will be the tip. For the feathers, I'm making diagonal cuts at the short sides of this rectangle. And now adding details to both sides to make it look like real feathers. Then glue three to each end of your arrows. The quiver I made is quite small so it will only fit three arrows. At first they were all 2 inches long but I had to cut this one shorter and this one even shorter so that I can squeeze at least 3 in there. So here you can see that this is the biggest I can make the quiver because there isn't much room between his wings. Now that the quiver is in place I can make the straps using air dry clay. I've attached a thin strip from the circle to here. Another from the circle to the bottom of the quiver. A short strip here. And a long strip from under his arm to the quiver. I shape metal wires into the shape of the bow to use as a skeleton. Now I'm going to wrap thin strips of clay around it. And then blend it until seamless. Then I added more clay to these parts and shaped it to get something like this.
Wow, this was so crazy. There were so many colors, I ended up mixing 35 different colors to paint this. And the position of his arms made it a challenge to work on the chest area. But I am really happy with how this turned out, so it was worth it. And guys, check out MLP Gallery on Instagram if you love My Little Pony art. There are thousands of amazing artworks on this page. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.